Welcome to Todobot by Workcast, a place where work gets done. When Todobot is installed into Slack, the whole team has access to the app without signing up to a separate application. This training is separated into two sections, how to use Todobot in Slack and then the Workcast dashboard. Lists are separated by channels or direct messages. To create a task, simply click on the Slack channel that you want to create the task in. When creating a task in a channel, all the participants of the channel will be able to see the task. To create a task, type slash to do, then the task details. The task will be created in the channel. Once a task is created, you can assign a team member to the task, set a due date, and complete the task using the drop-down menus. To assign a team member to a task that has been created, simply click the drop-down menu and select a team member. This will assign the task to the team member. The team member will receive a notification from Todobot that they have been assigned the task, so they will never miss the task. To set a due date for a task, click on the drop-down menu for the task and select Set Due Date. There are preset options you can choose from, or you can enter your own due date here. Simply start typing the due date. You can also add a time to the task, and if you do this, the assignee or creator of the task will receive a reminder when the task is due from Todobot. To see all the tasks in this channel, type slash to-do list. From here, you can complete tasks, and once you complete a task, the channel will be notified that the task is completed. Tasks can be created in a direct message with another team member. Simply click on the direct message with your team member and start by creating a task. You will be prompted to select the other participant of this conversation as in Slack this is viewed as a private channel and the information is not provided to us. Therefore, simply choose the other participant of the direct message to move forward. When creating tasks in a direct message with one other person, you can only assign a task to yourself or the other team member. You cannot assign a to-do to someone else that is not in this conversation. To create tasks on your personal to-do list, click on To-Do Bot under Apps. The to-dos created in this conversation with To-Do Bot is private and is added to your personal tasks. No one else will be able to view these tasks. To-Do Bot is where you will receive notifications of the work you need to complete. You can also see all the tasks you are assigned to across all the different channels. Just type slash to do list in this message with to do bot. To do bot will automatically send you a daily reminder of all the tasks that are overdue, due today and unassigned but created by you. This is turned on by default. This feature can be modified by clicking on this link here or in your workcast settings page. Notifications from Todobot can be modified in this screen. Simply uncheck the boxes and save your settings. Workcast is all your tasks in one place. Each team has their own Workcast link. It is the name of your Slack team .io. You can also reach Workcast by clicking on any of the task IDs from Slack or when you type slash to do list in a channel. Workcast shows all the tasks across all the channels you are a participant of. You also have various views here. My tasks due today, tasks I'm assigned, tasks I've completed, and personal tasks. Under my lists, you will see all the to-do lists that you have created. By default, the name of the list is the same as a Slack public channel. If the channel is private in Slack, it will show up as private group. In this case, I would suggest updating the name to something more recognizable or to the same name that it is in Slack. Here you will see which channel in Slack that this list is connected with. You can click this link to be taken to the Slack channel. You can add a description 
and also see the participants of the list. If you assign a task to someone that is not yet a participant of the list, they will automatically be added to the list so that they can view the task. You can edit the participants of the list by clicking here. This will not affect the Slack channel, only what users can view in WordCast. To create a new task in WordCast, click on the New Task button and start typing. You can assign a user to the task by pressing Tab. You can add or remove additional assignees by clicking on the task. To add a due date, click on the task and choose a date and time. If you add a time to the due date, the assignee will receive a reminder of the task at the set time and date. You also have the option to have a recurring task. Here are the different options. Be sure to click on Save. You can add a description to the task and also comments. If you add a comment to a task, the assignee will receive a notification from Todobot on Slack. If there is no assignee, the creator of the task will receive a notification from Todobot that there is a new comment on the task. To complete a task, click on the tick. The tick will go green and move to the completed task section once it has been completed. You can undo this action by clicking the tick again. This will move the task back into open tasks. By default, when you complete a task, the Slack channel is notified that the task has been completed. If you want to turn this function off, click here and turn off this setting. The default view of a list is by priority. You can also view the tasks that are assigned to you only by clicking on My Tasks. Or you can view the tasks based on due date or by who the task is assigned to. To create a new list in WordCast, click on the plus sign next to My List. You can create a list which will only be shown in WordCast and this is by sending invitations to team members. The list will not be attached to a Slack channel. The other option is to create a new list and attach it to a Slack channel. You can choose a public channel to create a new list in. My team shows lists between you and one other team member. These tasks can only be viewed by the participants of this list and you cannot assign a task to someone who is not a participant. To start a new list with a team member, click the plus sign here and choose the team member. The team member will be notified of the new list from Todobot. For any assistance, you can visit the Help Centre where we have articles and step-by-step -step instructions. You can also contact us through the Help Centre. Thank you so much for watching.